Okay, let me start by, uh, first of all, let me give you a little bit of my educational and uh, clinical background. Uh, I'm, I'm an MD. I graduated the University of Massachusetts Medical School. I then attended a four-year residency training program in diagnostic radiology at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston. Uh, I was an assistant professor at the University of Texas as well in computed tomography and breast cancer detection. I was in private practice for a long time in diagnostic radiology. Uh, I'd like to discuss what I uh, fondly call the magnificent mesenchymal stem cell. You know, when stem cell therapies began not very long ago, we thought the superstar of stem cells was going to be the CD34 stem cell. And it is a powerful stem cell, but uh, shortly thereafter uh, it was discovered that there are these stem cells in umbilical cord blood and elsewhere in your bone marrow called mesenchymal stem cells. And as it turns out, these cells uh, have demonstrated some remarkable uh, healing and rejuvenating qualities. For example, uh, mesenchymal stem cells are anti-inflammatory in two very important ways. Firstly, uh, when there is local inflammation, for example, with rheumatoid arthritis around the joints, uh, that inflammation uh, happens to be autoimmune, and so uh, T cells from the immune system attack the synovium of the, uh, of the joints and cause inflammation. And that inflammation is caused by the release of these inflammatory factors called, uh, one is called tumor necrosis factor alpha. Um, and mesenchymal stem cells downregulate or decrease tumor necrosis alpha. So there is often a uh, rather immediate local improvement after uh, a patient is injected with uh, mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, it also uh, upregulates, increases an anti-inflammatory uh, cytokine called interleukin-10. So there's two, two local uh, soluble element uh, effects of mesenchymal stem cells uh, that are anti-inflammatory. And since inflammation uh, is involved in almost all disease processes, this is a, this is a great generic uh, characteristic for a cell to have. Um, so, uh, we have one uh, patient that I can remember came to the clinic, actually is the, uh, the mother of, uh, uh, of the uh, COO of, uh, of the company, who came to the clinic to get treatment for uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and she was so uh, swollen at her joints uh, and in so much pain that she was wheel wheelchair bound at the time, and within two days of injecting intravenous uh, mesenchymal stem cells into this patient, she was walking around the clinic. And uh, that's not to think that her autoimmunity was necessarily uh, fixed, because that, I, that I believe, is a, a more prolonged effect, but this, this, is, this, is, uh, this is an immediate effect of the mesenchymal stem cells. We also know that in any patient that has autoimmunity, uh, for example, rheumatoid arthritis that I mentioned, autism, multiple sclerosis, graft versus host, Crohn's disease, and there are others. Uh, in general, those patients have a lesion, an abnormality, if you will, in their immune system. Their immune system has not been able to balance uh, the ability to attack a bacteria or a virus or a cancer cell and distinguish it from an attack on the body itself. That's what autoimmunity is. It's a person's own immune system attacking their own organ tissues and producing a disease. Well, as it turns out, uh, I'm not saying that we know exactly, precisely all the details of how uh, mesenchymal stem cells help patients that have autoimmune diseases, but there is one thing that we do know, and that is that in general, patients that have autoimmunity have a lower number of T suppressor cells than do 
normal patients. So you or I uh, will probably have more T suppressor cells in our immune system than someone who suffers from one of the autoimmune diseases. And we know that mesenchymal stem cells, clearly it's been shown, they, are, they upregulate or increase T suppressor cells. So as the immune system is trying to figure out what to attack and what to leave alone, it's a balance between T killer cells and T suppressor cells. And in autoimmunity, we believe that there's a, a, obviously a disbalance and that it may well be in the T suppressor cells, which are upregulated by our treatment, mesenchymal stem cells, and we believe that's, how, uh, that's the mechanism by which we're able to help patients with autoimmunity.